COVID in the sewers. Y'all remember Drew Barrymore, alligators in the sewers? Alligators in the sewers. Well, Dylan McGinnis has done a great article about how the city of Houston is using sewer water to find out hot spots for the coronavirus. So I want you to think about this. If the coronavirus is in sewer water, it's in sewer pipe, it's in anything that plumbers touch on the sewer line any and every day, is it still contagious? Now, I emailed Dylan and I hadn't heard back from him yet, but my thought here in plumbers, I want you to listen very clearly. We do a lot of things every day. We put gloves on like we're supposed to. We put glasses on to help keep things out of our eyes. But really, is this enough? I don't know, because here's the thing. What if it really is in the sewer water and it's contagious? So think about this as a plumber, and don't get me wrong, we wear PPE like we're supposed to do, but I gotta tell you, I went out to a job two weeks ago. I wasn't really happy. I had to stand around for two hours and wait on Atmos to come out and turn the gas back onto a house. Why? They told the homeowner they could not go in the house to light her water heater, not touch the sewer, walk in and light the water heater because they require that it be lit before they leave. But they won't go do it. They won't let the homeowner do it. They tell them you have to have a plumber come do it. Now, excuse me, have you ever heard of the words customer service? Because if you're gonna turn off their gas and come back and turn it back on, you need to provide customer service, not make them hire a plumber to come out and stand there for that. I understand you don't wanna go in, but think about now the plumbers that have to go in because we're not just dealing with gas, we're not just lighting water heaters. If you're going in and cleaning out a tub drain, a toilet, a lavatory, a kitchen sink, if you're unstopping anything, my question is, what kind of PPE do we need to use now? I had the gloves on a while ago, but they're too expensive to wear nowadays. You know why? The cost has gone up. So what are we gonna do? Are we going to increase our costs or charge for safety equipment? PPE? I mean, we've got to have this now. I will let you know what Dylan says when he replies to the email, if he knows. Because my thought is, guys, and think about this. We run sewer machines, we run cameras, we do a lot of things in the sewer every day. Say you're doing a relay out in the yard. Any pipe that you pull out that has water in it, had water in it, maybe even remains of fecal matter in it, you've got to worry now does it contain the coronavirus? How long is it alive for? Now, I'm not trying to stir anybody up. I just want y'all to think about it. Atmos thinks their lives are more important than plumbers. What do we think about our own lives? Are we doing the things every day that we should do? So I want you to think about this because seriously, if there is coronavirus in sewer water, we need to be a lot more protective. And what I mean by that is when we go in and unstop somebody's sewer, say you're just going in and cleaning out a pee trap, do we now need to wear face shields? Do we need to wear mono goggles? Do we need to wear anything? And don't get me wrong, I know a lot of y'all are saying, well, look, I don't want poop water on me anyway. I get it, but has it ever happened? Because if it has, you need to think about what could I have done in that situation to make sure it didn't? Now guys, look, I think your lives are just as important as mine. I mean, Atmos doesn't, but I do. I think yours is just as important. So my thought process is, think about what you're doing. If you're gonna go in now and even just take apart a P-trap, we've always worn the latex gloves, maybe even safety glasses, but think about this now. Do we need to wear a face mask? Do we need to wear a shield? Do we need to wear a mono goggle? We just need to wear goggles. If we get it on our skin, what are the proper cleansing techniques? Do you just use sanitizer? Can you pour it directly on it? Will that take care of it? Or what do we need to do? And these are questions as plumbers we should all be asking. Now look, if you're a homeowner working on your own system, same thing. Just because, say you had a neighbor come over and take it up. Now you've got a stopped up sewer and you need to come in and plunge it. What if that water splashes up on you? Because Houston raises a great point here. If the coronavirus is in sewer water and can be detected, what's this doing to all of us? Because think about it, whenever this first happened, the World Health Organization said the coronavirus was spread in China in multi-unit apartment houses, multi-levels, because people had improperly done work. They left vent lines open. They left vent lines open inside of a unit. And they said that when other people flushed the toilet, it pushed air and 
particles of water up into the air. Now, I mean, we know that when you sneeze, you get the little driplets. What are they called, Will, you know? When you sneeze, the driplets, uh, something lets, uh, droplets. We all know that when you sneeze, you get the little droplets that float around in the air for a while, and that's how things are spread. Driplets, uh, something lets, uh, droplets. But when somebody flushes their sewer in the house next door to you, is it possible that those droplets come up in your sewer? I would say yes. We don't have a backwater valve. We don't have an inline P-trap. We don't have anything stopping it. Yes, we have the P-traps under our sink, but what if that comes up in a vent line, comes all the way over into a trap arm, it gets stopped up, and now the plumber opens it up to pull that out? Is it possible that the coronavirus is in the sewer water? Houston says it is because they can locate it. So guys, as plumbers, to me, we need to be careful. We need to practice safer plumbing than we have been practicing. If you're not practicing safe plumbing, there's gonna be issues. How do we find out if it's in the water? I don't know, we can't test that. We can't test ourselves. How do we find out if it's in the water and it's still contagious? Like I said, I've emailed Dylan and if I hear back from him, I will let you know. Matter of fact, I'll put a comment in this video and pin it to the top so you'll see. Okay, so jump right back into the video. We literally stopped right before editing and actually we are editing, but I sent an email over because Dylan replied to me. So I've got a couple of things I wanna read and I want you plumbers to think about it. Not just plumbers, homeowners, wastewater treatment workers, anybody like that. I want you to listen and think about some of these things that it says. First thing is, it says they believe most of the virus found in sewage is not infectious and there has not been a confirmed case where someone contracted it that way. I completely understand that. There's not a confirmed case, but remember it doesn't mean it hadn't happened and they elaborate on that more later. So it's talking about it and it says, however, it is unclear whether the virus found in feces may be capable of causing COVID-19. There has not been any confirmed report of the virus spreading from feces to a person. Scientists also do not know how much risk there is. Guys, they don't know because, I mean, think about it. Does everybody run down and get tested just because they got into sewer water, got some splashed on them, got some in their eye, whatever it is, and trust me, it happens. Guys are not sure, so let me keep going. However, they think the risk is low based on data from previous outbreaks of diseases caused by related coronaviruses, such as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS. So yes, these syndromes have been around, but we don't know that COVID-19 is the same as these others. Now, one thing that he says down towards the end, and I say he said, this is what Dylan copied from the CDC and sent over to me. That way I get some of their response, which is really good. But one thing that it says is in personal protective equipment, they're telling people what to use for precautions. You know, go through the, your normal hygiene precautions, which we all do. Wash your hands. Don't rub your eyes. Don't stick your finger in your mouth after you've had it in a sewer line or anything. It says, but one thing to do, wear personal protective equipment normally required when handling untreated wastewater. Guys, think about it. They're telling them in the wastewater treatment industry to be careful, wear your PPE that you normally wear. But think about it, we're like frontline. We literally get it right there when it's in higher concentration, it, it's been setting in the pipe, it's been running right there in the pipe. By the time it gets to them, there is so much water added to it. Think about it, they're a wastewater treatment. So guys, all I'm saying here is please, be very careful and think about what you're doing. I want to say again, thank you to Dylan McGinnis for number one, the article caught my attention this morning on the morning news. And thank you for replying back to my email. He also put a link to the CDC report based on coronavirus in 2019. I'll make sure we put a link in the description so you can go to it and look at it if you want to. But like I said, do me a favor, leave me a comment, let me know what do you think about this. As plumbers, do we need to think about either charging for more PPE, wearing more PPE? What do you think we're gonna have to do to get through this safely? I know a plumber who did get the coronavirus and got very, very ill from it. He got so ill they told him, you need to get your family affairs in order. Now, he pulled through, thank God, but how many of us are dealing with this every day? And are we thinking about it? At Texas Green Plumbing, we specialize in slab leaks and leak detection and things like that. So when we tunnel up under houses and actually pull sewer lines out, we may have it right there in our hands. 
what are we thinking about? Are we thinking safe plumbing all the time? Are we wearing masks all the time? Are we wearing latex gloves and are the latex gloves enough? Don't get me wrong, I've torn latex gloves. I get it, it happens. But my thing to you, and look, you can go to the Houston Chronicle and search coronavirus in the sewer water. Here's the thing, we need to be looking out for us because if the city of Houston can test the water and determine hot spots of the coronavirus, it's there. What we need to do is look at what can we do to keep us from ending up with it. Respirators, masks, latex gloves, shields, monogoggles, whatever it takes. Guys, we have to take care of us. When you let these things go in a bucket, do you go outside and water it down? If you dilute it, is that enough? There's a lot of questions that we need to be asking because we need to be the ones to take care of us. We need to be the ones looking out for ourselves. And the problem is, since this whole thing started, the cost of latex gloves, the cost of floor protectors, the cost of everything has skyrocketed. Even masks, the little respirators that we used to be able to get a box of for 99 cents are now like $99. What are we doing to recoup that? Because it's costing us a fortune to try to be safe and protect our plumbers. What are you doing to protect yours? If you know any plumbers that have been really sick from the coronavirus, do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of plumber are they? Are they new construction? Are they service? I'm just curious. And if you know for sure if sewer water can be tested and coronavirus found in it, is it contagious or is it not? Let me know. I would love to find out. Anyway, I'm interested in your thoughts. So please leave me a comment and tell me what your thoughts are on this. I think it's funny that certain Utility providers won't go in people's houses. They'll tell the people you need to call a plumber because it's okay for us to go in houses. How important is your life? Because I happen to think mine, it's important to me. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.